Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm a set builder in the film industry. Today we are going to talk about how to use acrylic markers on wood surfaces. We are going to demonstrate several creative projects, like a colorful spinner using tongue depressors, abstract design decor made of OSB panel, designing a homemade artboard made of cork, and creating a simple bamboo finger labyrinth for stressful days. Other surfaces and inspirations can be found on our website and YouTube channel. The links are in the description. As always, if you like our video, make sure to hit the like button and follow us for other tips and tricks. Wood is a porous and fibrous material found in the stems and roots of trees and other plants. There are several varieties of objects made from wood such as furniture, construction materials and other articles for personal use. Some commonly used types of trees may include pine, oak, mahogany, bamboo, cork, birch or more. Depending on the type of wood or type of treatment of the wood, your work surface may vary. Raw wood surfaces can be rough and grainy, so naturally they would be more absorbent to paint, requiring an average of 3 minutes drying time for the first coat, but for extra coverage you may apply a second. Beware not to smear your art while the paint is still drying. Wood surfaces can also be both pre-treated or you can use varnish yourself to seal the surface, in which case the surface of the wood will be smoother, but the paint's drying time may take longer. Whatever surface you plan on painting on, all wooden surfaces are suitable for painting beautiful patterns on them. However, the patterns can get damaged by regular use without a protective coat of varnish. The first item on our list will be a homemade cork darts board. I have some wine corks that I will put closely next to each other in a circular fashion. I will be using a zip tie to tighten them up. Then we can use some general purpose glue to fix them onto a cork placemat. You can also use a piece of cardboard instead. Once the glue is dried, it will be ready to paint. The concept is to use three colors of your choice to paint the center and the two outer sections, each corresponding to a certain amount of points. The surface of the cork is rough and porous, so I recommend using a marker with a 4mm tip and also make sure to clean the tip of the marker from time to time. Next up, the finger labyrinth. The finger labyrinth is a nerve suiting game where you can use your fingers to trace along its path from the entrance all the way to the center. Bamboo is a very hard grass and in this case the stems are compressed together and bonded with an adhesive. Its smooth surface has a nice touch to it and is also really easy to paint on. First we create a pattern by drawing it on with a pencil. Then we can apply the Schneider acrylic marker. Due to the fibers of the bamboo, applying the paint directly can cause a fuzzy effect as the paint tries to find its way through the wood. This can be a stylish touch to your piece, but if you don't want this effect, you can always apply some varnish before you start painting. After applying one layer, a lovely coverage is provided, really bringing the drawing to life. When the paint layer has dried, we need to apply a coat of varnish since we will end up rubbing it often while using. Our third project in line is the abstract deco board made of OSB. OSB is a construction material made of wood strands with a specific method and compressed with added glue. We can make up the color scheme and simply paint the wood pieces into different colors, highlighting the busy pattern of the material. This surface is rough and dusty, so it's important to clean the tips every now and then to protect the markers from damage. One layer covers nicely, but with a second layer we can create an even more vibrant effect. Our last piece today will be a colorful spinner. 
To make this, I will be using some tong depressors, which is a raw material made of various woods. Since it is untreated timber, it has a porous and fibrous texture, quite a bit like plywood. The easiest way to drill through them is to take a small bunch, wrap them around with masking tape and drill through them all at the same time. It is very easy to paint an even coat on. You can even use a thick tip marker. For this project, I'm using the whole range of colors to create a lovely rainbow effect. Decorate the bottom and top with small wooden beads, which we also paint. The piece can be hung from the ceiling by a string. For more inspiration regarding decorating wood objects, you can visit our website. If you like our video, make sure to hit the like button and follow us on YouTube and on our social media channels.